Hello, welcome to this demo where we are going to show you some of the features we have implemented for Shift to support USD variant sets. In this example, we are going to add a variant set to this print and we are going to add some variants to modify, for instance, the display color of the mesh. So, we have this first workflow where we can open the kitchen stage, get the print and add the variant set to the print. By specifying the variant set name we want to create, in our case, colors. Then we can add different variants to the variant set, like default, black, white and red, using the USD variant add operator, where we need to connect the variant set object and specify the variant set name we want to add. We can also specify the selected variant in a variant set with this USD variant set selected. Again, connecting the variant set object and specifying the variant name we want to select. In our case, we're going to use the default one. And then we can just save the state. If we run this workflow and go back to USD view and reload all layers, we can see the colors variant set here containing all the variants we have created. Now uh, we are going to modify the display color for each one of the variants. To do that we have this second workflow where we basically open the stage, get the print and get the variant set from the print. Uh, and then for each one of the variants we have a USD variant workflow. This USD variant workflow is basically an operator that executes a nested workflow uh, within a specific variant context. That's why we need to connect the variant set object and specify the name of the variant we want to enable before uh, starting the execution. We have also this stage print pattern color inputs uh, that are inputs coming directly from the nested workflow. Let's have a look to that one. As we can see here, we have just the input operator, then the print get and the display color set operator. Going back to the main workflow, uh, right after running each one of the sub workflows per variant, we can just save the stage. If we run this workflow now, and going back to USDB and do reload all layers, now we can see that each variant modifies the display color of the mesh accordingly to the colors we, we have just set from the seed workflow. So, this is all for now. Thanks for watching.